Welcome to the Robotis OpenCM904 unboxing, or should I say unbagging video. My name is Martin Mason, and I'm going to be showing you what's inside the OpenCM904 package. The OpenCM904 is a microcontroller board developed by Robotis to do two things. One is to provide an easy way for people to interface Dynamixel servos to their projects. It's also a general purpose uh, microcontroller board, which you can interface RC servos uh, and a large variety of analog or, or digital sensors to, and it makes it much easier to use existing analog or digital sensors since you can use with it the uh, open source processing based IDE, which is a port of the same development environment that's used on the Arduino microcontroller. So if you've used an Arduino, this board becomes very easy to use. Most of your code will compile with very little changes. So it, it lets you leverage things you already know. Let's take a look at what's inside the package. We open it up, and Robotish uses these nice sealed bags. And the first thing I want to take a look at is the microcontroller board itself. The first thing you notice is that they've broken out all these 0.1 inch pins here. This microcontroller board is going to use an ARM M3 chip. It's a 128 megabyte, I'm oh, sorry, kilobyte chip that's running at about 76 megahertz, so it's considerably more powerful than the, the AT Mega 328 that'd be on your, your Arduino. Uh, you'll notice that they've broken all the I.O. out to these pins, but they haven't soldered any connectors. And we're going to take a look at the included connectors. But first, let's look at what's already on the board. First thing you notice is there's a micro USB connector that lets you plug this board directly into your, your computer. And it doesn't include a micro USB cable, but those are readily available. And it also gives the board a nice, small, lightweight form factor, which is important if you're putting this on a, on a humanoid robot. There are two LEDs. There's a status LED and a power LED. There's a user switch, which you, is assigned to a particular pin and lets you uh, toggle that input high or low. And there's a reset switch. Here we have a, a, a serial connector which has got RX, TX, 3.3 volts and ground and you can either connect a FTDI or CP2102 USB to TTL connector and use this in addition to the built-in uh, USB for debugging or Robotis makes a Bluetooth to US uh, a Bluetooth connector so that you can debug this wirelessly they also make a, a direct plug-in connector that all plug into this port You've got a second serial port over here. There are three total serial ports available, or UARTs available on the chip. Over here we have two five-pin connectors, which are designed to interface with the Robotis OLO sensors. And over here we have a 10-pin JTAG, so that if you don't want to use the bootloader that's already pre-programmed onto the chip to use the open source Arduino-like IDE, you can uh, use the JTAG connector and directly program the chip and, and do whatever you want with that. All right, we have a single three pin connector here, which is the standard TTL level Dynamixel connector, which implements a variant of the, the RS485 protocol, but it's not differential, it just uses a single TTL pin. But all of the Dynamixel, uh, the AX12, the uh, 18 use this this bus and you can daisy chain up to 255 servos on this bus uh, you'll notice that there are three additional connectors that we'll be able to use and here we have a power connector this power connector will let us connect a, a standard uh, say a two cell lipo or there's there's two connectors you'll notice to use the robotis battery system if you so choose let's take a look at what else comes in the kit that we can plug into this board all right, the first thing you'll notice is they've given us a, a battery lead so that we can uh, solder our LiPo battery directly to this lead. We don't want to run our servos off of the, the USB directly because it only will provide 500 milliamps and our servos may need considerably more current than that. So we'll, we'll want to run an external battery to run the Dynamixel servos. We also want to run them maybe at a little bit higher voltage than 5 volts. They're, they're typically tolerant up to 14, 15 volts and they, 12 volts is what is nominally spec Let's take a look at what else comes in the package. We've got a bag of connectors, 
And this bag of connectors contains, let's take a quick look at what's in here. All right, we've got two 0.1 inch male headers that we can use for those unsoldered pins that we showed earlier, here and here. We've got two sets of 0.1 inch female connectors, which again, we could use in the same place. And I think a lot of us have gotten used to prototyping with these 0.1 inch female connectors. It's very easy to stick wires and components directly into these and it makes it very simple for prototyping. We've also got three of the Dynamixel TTL level connectors. And we've got three small connectors, which, which may not have seen very much, but these are for the new micro servo that uh, Robotus is putting out, and it uses a slightly smaller connection to save weight. All right, and finally we've got a power switch, and oh boy, I really like to get a real solid power switch on a microcontroller board that sure makes things a lot easier. Let's see how these things fit onto the board. All right, our power switch will plug directly into the back of the board here. We're going to have to solder that on in a little bit. We can install our 0.1 inch female connector just like that. I'm going to go ahead and populate, and they've done a nice job of providing a silk screen, so these just slide right in. Another thing you want to notice is that they've made the pins, they've done something very clever here, they've made the pins wide enough so you can either install standard 0.1 inch pins or the slightly smaller 2 millimeter pins that seem to be used by the smaller connector. So we're going to go ahead, we'll just slot those in to give you an idea of how everything fits together. We'll put two of the slightly smaller connectors in here so you can see how those fit in and again very cleverly they've let us use either connector in the in these in this board all right there we have that and we have that all right now you're going to have to go ahead and obviously solder this yourself and we'll take a look and see what whether they hot or solder leveled the board by just doing a quick flip here and I'm looking at it, I don't, it's, it's really quite hard to tell. I can see that the, the pads are reasonably spaced. It should be fairly straightforward to solder to, but we'll, we'll save that for a later time. Right, what I'm going to do now, I think, is just uh, do a quick power on test. I'm going to bring my laptop over here, and we're going to plug the USB connection into the board and take a look at what happens. And with any luck, we'll see some lights flash. Let's see what we see. All right, we saw the power indicator, and we see a status indicator. So you can see this is the open CM904 board. I think it will be available from Robotus by the end of October. Thank you for watching.